this problem, we have the integral of x times the tangent squared of x. Let's go through it. Solution. So tangent squared um, is hard to work with. If you're thinking about like integration by parts or tabular, uh, tangent squared is not nice. So I'm thinking um, there's an identity. 1 plus tangent squared x is equal to secant squared x. That means that tangent squared x is equal to secant squared minus 1. So maybe we'll start by replacing um, tangent squared with secant squared minus 1. So this is x parentheses secant squared x minus 1 dx. So now um, we can integrate this, right? So let's try to use tabular. So in tabular, you pick a piece and you keep differentiating it. In this case, it's going to be x. So the derivative of x is 1, and its derivative is 0. And then you pick the other piece, and you keep integrating it. So when you integrate uh, secant squared, you get tangent, right? Because the derivative of tangent is secant squared. And when you integrate um, negative 1, you get x. Integrating again, when you integrate tangent, you get uh, negative ln absolute value cosine x. Integrate x, you get x squared over 2. I have this uh, memorized. Um, you can integrate tangent by thinking of it as sine over cosine and letting u be cosine and going from there. Then you put a plus, minus plus, and draw arrows. Okay, and that should be the answer. So we should get x, let's see, 10x minus x. And then this negative 1 is going to get distributed here, so it's going to be plus ln absolute value cosine x plus uh, x squared over 2 plus c. Let's distribute this x here uh, to both the 10 and the x. So it'll be x 10x, kind of an interesting problem, minus x squared plus ln absolute value cosine x plus x squared over 2 plus c. And we can combine uh, like terms now. So um, you can think of this as negative 2x squared over 2. And here you have uh, 1x squared over 2. So that'll give you x 10x minus 1 half x squared, right, combining this and this, plus the natural log of the absolute value of cosine x plus c. And that is the final answer. So kind of a tricky problem. I hope it's been helpful to someone out there in the world who is working on integrals. That's it.